It is four hours and five minutes into the 28th day of May, and uh, I'm just now uh, transitioning to my bed. Uh, let me just adjust this for a bit here. It's a little high. Let me in terms of not properly centered. I spent this last time from midnight so just about now transferring a lot of files uh, from uh, let's see here I've now got this vlogging camera this is one camera and one device the second one is here this is typically here all the time now uh, when it's not outside uh, but in my place, uh, they say the kitchen or the uh, music studio or at my bed, there's this device. And I have a, uh, a storage drive on the cloud, about two terabytes that holds everything, that allows me to access the files from, wh from whatever device I want to work on. Uh, and that's how I organize my editing desk. So that's what I spent the last four hours doing is uh, doing sort of a month, month worth of filming's upload. Uh, and it does take that time. It takes about two, two, two and a half hours to upload about, I think it was like, uh, 12 gigabytes. And, uh, in the meantime, I was watch doing the YouTube stroll. I really do enjoy the YouTube stroll. It's kind of like hanging out uh, with people. I'll always like going visiting people. And that's what, the uh, uh, vlogs are like. Vlogs are going and visiting people. And you get to see their house you get to see what they're doing and it, it, it it's it's nice it's, it's it's a nice thing to, way to sort of suspend your time the way see the way other people live the way they think and you know uh, how other people exist it doesn't always have to be heavy heavy because the, the, the day here is typically heavy heavy in terms of the research and and uh the work that goes on uh so it's always nice every once in a while to sort of uh, take the foot off the gas and just sort of coast for a bit. Although tomorrow is going to be a bit of work. I have, now that the, the uh, container boxes came in, uh, I'm going to start working on the closet. And then I also have to do, uh, do more work on the kitchen uh, to sort of fix things up. I'm going to do some tea right now. Uh, sort of put the mix together. I've put the water. The water has, you have to do the water. You have to let the water sit for about a day, sort of to de -ga the water ha uh, All water has gas in it. And if you let it sit for about a day, the water actually softens up because a lot of the, the gas that, that makes hard water, hard water goes up and it makes gives you a much uh, better water to work with than if you had it just sort of right, out, right off the tap. Uh, so now I'm going to put the ingredients in for the tea. It will sit for, let's say, uh, tomorrow's Friday. Uh, I think Saturday I'll end up pouring off the tea. Uh, probably Saturday night around this time. I'll end up pouring off the tea and it will go into the fridge. And that's how I'm going to think. I've got uh, a shake already done in the, in, in the fridge. It's sort of sitting, sitting there waiting for me. And uh, and the shakes do a very good job. But And I'm also going to work on the kitchen. So uh, sort of clean things up in the kitchen a little bit more so I can get a second... Uh, cooking area to finish work, working on it and get it finished uh, so I can add uh, some new items for the summer for the uh, for the for the summer menu the, 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 the menu is going to shift again for the summer uh, I had been talking about this earlier that the, the things have to change uh, <clears throat> and uh, I do that it, it uh, every season has a different a slightly different uh, menu and I sort of have to figure out how to sort of arrange to get uh, everything done, uh, particularly with the heat. Right now it's cool, so uh, when it's cool like this, this is when I can bake. I can do a lot of my cooking, uh, and I just sort of save the, the meals, the uh, whatever you cook, you put the, put in the freezer, and you take it out as you eat eat it. Uh, <clears throat> and that saves uh, from having having to have the oven on all the time, uh, but at the same time, I still get very good food. And it's part of the short order menu. Anyways, time to do the tea. And then transition to bed. 
while it is uh, 18 hours and 36 minutes into the 28th day of May, and uh, uh, this is our next opportunity to vlog. Uh, before then, there was uh, meditation, gaming. I got a food delivery from uh, from my grocery store, uh, basically uh, uh, milk and cucumbers and another jar of mayo. That's basically it. Uh, the tea I uh, uh, put together yesterday is setting up nicely. Uh, the 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 it's already significantly dark, which means that the the steep is taking hold. It, it, this is this is a cold brew. You watch for the color. You watch. Look, you look at the signs of the color uh, of the of, of the water. It goes from clear to a very dark, uh, a very uh, uh, not necessarily brown, but because there's a lot of other colors in there. But just what happens? It's it, it's a dark color. It's it, it's a deep, rich color, uh, and you start to see things uh, uh, sort of open up. Uh, I will have to do an agitation, uh, sort of just. Pick the jar up in agitation, just shake it around. You, you do it in a circular motion. Uh, that stirs things up. It uh, uh, allows things to break up even further. Then you'll do another 12 hours in terms of letting it sit for there, uh, let it, letting it sit, and the, the new flavors will come in. And that way, uh, tomorrow, uh, probably tom sometime tomorrow, uh, probably around 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, I will pour off the tea. And uh, uh, clean everything up and uh, wait for the next batch to start, which will probably be on Sunday. Because uh, I seem to be going through the tea pretty quickly. At, uh, and it, it does have, I'm finding that it does have significant health benefits. Uh, although I do have to reduce the doses of the tea. This is where you have to care about tea. Tea does have physiological impact if it's good Chinese tea or good Indian tea, and you have to watch what it does to your body. If something is too powerful, you have to back off the concentration. That's either I can add a little bit more water, or, or, or a little bit more fruit, or, or whatever, in order to sort of to, to pull the effect back. Uh, and that's kind of what I'm doing, is uh, I, I've, got a, I've pulled back the sort of dosage uh, of tea, and rather than making one liter at a time, I'm now making two liters in terms of the uh, shake. Uh, and there's a, the, the, there's another batch that's, that's ready to go uh, for that's always in the fridge. Uh, so I'm just gonna keep filling that up and adding to that, uh, and that will be sort of uh, how I sort of meter things out. And then this, the metering is is also the dosage and <laughs> so on and so forth. But things are going well. I'm, I'm beginning the uh, I'm beginning the YouTube stroll. Uh, I just finished with the Tannerites. Uh, there's nothing along the path until you get the Family Five vlogs, and I'll see what's what's going to happen next. I'll probably end up going on a, a, down to a subpath. Uh, with, you know, uh, <laughs> trying to think of about the, what I want to say, and there's so many different things. And today is a burnout day. I allow these burner days to happen. They need they they they, they come whether whether I want them or not. They come. But let's get back into uh, some of the things about Lionel Lebron. I, I I still do my monitoring. I still do the observation work. That's still done even though I'm in a burnout day. It just it's more difficult putting thoughts together. And Lionel Lebron is this now discovering YouTube. He's discovering the internet in terms of. What's out there in terms of the choice and why TV is dying? Uh, and it's not dying to a particular point that that, that it's going to disappear tomorrow or anything like that. In a couple of years, things will significantly change. It's just that there are no new ideas. No new ideas. People will prefer, prefer to watch smaller content. Uh, the history, which he didn't go into, which, which sort of would have... There is a historical comparison. And this is... The the big majors, the big major studios, had a monopoly on the system uh, when they f first moved into TV because on VHF there was only thirteen channels. 
it was the creation of uh, 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 and the explosion of UHF, the high, uh, ultra high frequency, on TV that produced a lot of the sub channels, a lot of your affiliates. Uh, if you go have, or you're in a small town and you have an affiliate, well, the entire affiliation system emerged from UHF, and these were very tiny, rinky dink little stations and. The, the, the commercials weren't really that good at all. Uh, if you want to go to, to a reference for this, go back and look at uh, Weird, Weird Al Yankovic. It's a UHF. He's got a movie. It was one of his cult classics called UHF. Uh, look at uh, SCTV. That's an old, uh, it's an old uh, show f uh, produced by NBC uh, around 1980. It's about that time frame there. If you can find it on YouTube, maybe you can find old episodes on that. It's called SCTV. That is about a UHF t uh, channel. They're very small. They're, 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 the staff isn't that large. But yet, they make the most of what they have. And this is kind of what a YouTube channel, YouTube is like. It goes from, the, we've, we've gone from the major production studios, once again, out to the Wild West, where a lot of people are participating. It's much more difficult to get a foothold. I mean, all you have to do is look into the early history of cable TV to see uh, where cable TV was compared to the primetime networks. And understanding that will give you an understanding of what YouTube is to the uh, to the new majors. And there's always a pull back and forth. The, the, the majors don't give up. They want control over everything. They try to pull everything together. And this is a tug of war that exists. People get caught up in it. And, uh, things change, the environment change, environment shift. This is what's happening on uh, uh, our family nest. The kids are growing up, they're leaving the house, and the question becomes, well, what do we do next? <laughs> you know? Uh, because the kids, and more particularly uh, 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 Carly, Carly uh, was, uh, uh, the daughter, was the main pull, and as she's starting to do her own thing now, uh, there's kind of a shift in uh, the viewership, and they've noticed this now. So, it's difficult to maintain uh, your relevance, and of course, your 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 uh, your presentation to to brands who may want to advertise in your whatever you're doing. Uh, because what happens if you have enough viewers and have, have enough uh, uh, people looking at your site, then what you want, it, what, what brands will want, or stores will want, is they'll want to advertise your, their stuff in with, with you because you've got so many eyes watching you. And the more eyes you have watching you, the more that, that space, that time, the, the advertisement is worth. And so, this is what they're talking about brand deals, but I think at the same time, a brand deal, uh, if it's the wrong brand for your channel, can actually end up ruining and wrecking your channel. And so this is where myself, it's not necessarily about the commercial aspect of things, it's a research thing, it's sort of how the life of a researcher, and the thing is you cannot risk having a brand or an ad in here uh, that will sort of shift the focus of what you're doing. Which is primarily experimental. It's, it, this is all exper uh, experimental television, and so I'm going to be reaching out to probably Clintus because he's got a major problem, and seeing if he wants to come into experimental TV, keeping it in that aspect of things, and sort of working out uh, how things would get done from here on out. Uh, anyways, uh, I think I'm going to leave that here for now. I'm going to get uh, make my uh, shake. And then come back and, and, and finish up, uh, uh, well, continue along uh, the uh, YouTube stroll. Well, it is, uh, oh, three hours into the 29th day of May. Uh, I'm just leaving uh, the YouTube stroll uh, at the... Uh, uh, Sister Forever vlog. Uh, they're in the uh, It's Our Life path. It's, they're uh, on that path there, that sub path. Uh, oh no, I started watching them a while. I, 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 some of my sub paths are, are, are grouped in a bizarre way. 
Uh, it's simply because that they're in Florida, not because they're actually related to each other. It's just they're in Florida, so the Florida vlogs that I watch are all under It's Our Life. Uh, under Clintus, I have a lot of the RV uh, family vlogs. And I have uh, some other, other vlogs under the, underneath there as well. As well. Oh. I ended up going to bed, I think it was around 10 o'clock in the evening. Uh, yet, uh, I go with yesterday. The last time. Uh, I think it was... Uh, on the 28th, you know, 10 o'clock on the 28th, I ended up staying in, well, no, it was earlier than that, well, anyways, uh, I ended up staying in bed until just about 1.30 in the morning, so I got up, did some gaming, uh, did some meditation, and then came back here and started watching some of uh, uh, you know, Family Forever, Forever vlogs. I'm not caught up, so I do have to do more binge watching, but uh, I've gone as far as I can go, and uh, it's time to transition back again. My body is a little sore, but uh, uh, I'm still within, cra within the crash mode, so the crash mode does last a while. Uh, and things tend to slow down, so that's uh, what I'm doing. I'm listening to my body. I'm going uh, back to bed. I did the uh, agitation of the tea. Uh, just about every 12 hours, you have to agitate the tea. I do the, you know, uh, moving around. It's basically, the agitation is, isn't a straight forward like that. It's getting, you want to get the, the circular motion in there. And... That uh, actually uh, moves things around, and it did that. Uh, it looks like it's going to be ready to pour off uh, sometime tomorrow. We'll see what happens with that. Uh, and then, uh, we'll see what ha ends up happening with my deep dive. I still have to do more work. On Leibniz, and then what I have to do is to go back and to, uh, go look, take a look at Newton. I also want to take a look at uh, a, a, a second look at Descartes, and then from there uh, go on to Planck, and sort of sort of surround myself with the with, with these type of uh, with these points within uh, the history of philosophy. And it actually gives you, if you understand the history of the environment itself, the the period. Uh, and in the particular, the, the, the some of them are German, some of them are English, some of them are French. Uh, some are Catholic, some are not. And you, there's a, a number of different settings that people exist in. If you understand the setting that the person exists in, then you begin to understand why they think the way they think. And this is sort of the same thing with Milo Braun, is, you know, understanding who he hangs out with, and he does... Do these na the name dropping every no every now and again, but uh, will give you an idea of who he is and why he thinks uh, the way he thinks. And th this is analysis, and it takes a long time to do that. So uh, we will continue on tomorrow and see where tomorrow takes us. <laughs> well, <laughs> tomorrow. Uh, just a couple of hours more, or just a couple hours later, I'm, I'm going to go transition back again to to the sleep world, where I do work, my work there, and still continuing on. It just become more routine now, that's all. And you can see that the, the, the fatigue is getting there, so I think this is going to be it here.